All right, doing a recording of the uh, you know, website kind of stuff. So just kind of a website update um, and video update since I'm on the video page for the Do Not God site. So anyway, the last video was the what the fuck, number 98. So almost hitting 100. I have to come up with something special, I guess. Uh, I thought those, these were pretty good videos. The truth doesn't chew very good. That was a response video to that Professor Anton guy. Um, it's an ownership distribution bubble. Very good rant at the end on this video. It wasn't really a good rant. It was just, I was just, it was just so clear how fucking stupid it is. And just amazing we can't get past that. Uh, I did one of the little Naked 8 videos. Kind of good graphics, I thought. But, uh, anyway. And, uh, you, the high, the courts, two, two of the court videos. So anyway, that's the update on the newest videos. Uh, sorry about the what the fuck is like 20 and, uh, you get this here page and it explains a little bit about it not very much but a little bit well, anyway so you can put this menu bar um, on any website you're viewing so all you do is slide this create either right click and create a bookmark and then move your bookmark wherever you want it or just slide the link up to your bookmarks and pop it in there and it'll create a bookmark at least in Firefox Internet Explorer is being a little bit of a hassle about you know dragging it in there because I guess it has the JavaScript in it. But anyway, you can still just bookmark it and then move the bookmark or rename a bookmark. And Well, anyway, I'll explain that in another video. Internet Explorer is always a pain in the ass. But anyway, it does work in both browsers. It's just a little more of a hassle to create the bookmark in Internet Explorer. So anyway, um, you can't see the link, but it's right up there on my taskbar until every time I hit the link. It'll load the toolbar, but it has a little thing to see. It's already loaded on this page, so it says stop tools from reload. It's just letting you know it's already loaded on this page. But anyway, we'll point that out later. Um, but some of these, these new features are kind of good. This background one is kind of neat, because you can rifle through a bunch of different background, um, you know, a bunch of different I image combinations on a web page. And, uh, you know, some of them are impractical, like this one. I'll have to work on some of them. Um, and uh, so that's kind of neat. It does have the game, the page, is still on here too, which is that uh, the one that creates the uh, concentration game, which is, I think is a pretty good product. Um, <clears throat> this is a new one. This is just for developers and stuff. I'll put it, you know, I'll move the listing. I'll change these around a little bit. But this one's kind of interesting because you can tear the whole page apart um, by looking at the DOM. It's called the the um, dynamic blah 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 page something or other so if you know anything about this crap you know JavaScript and how a page is made you can find window document you can open that up and you can see what the other objects are and how they're named so you can get to the command so this is only for people who know JavaScript and stuff but it's kind of a nice way to tear a page apart convenient way anyway um, yeah and it's you know it's got other crap but I'm not going through all that I kind of leave these selection tools are kind of good I mean I know these other toolbars do searches but the problem is, you know, they always do like a one-word search, and, and you know, with this, you can, you can do exact phrase searches. So you can select, you know, a whole phrase of words. Um, you know, box will eventually be made. That'll be interesting to see um, a Google phrase on that word and see if there is such a thing. And uh, there's two. There's actually two pages that have that. Uh, but uh, see, so I mean, it's kind of a. I think it's a kind of a good tool. Um, what the hell happened here? Uh, I'm on the wrong page now. All right. So anyway, um, so but yeah, once this thing opens, I have to make it so it'll close again. Um, you know, just because it stays wide once you use the DOM feature. So anyway, these are a lot. It's got lots of little bugs like that that I gotta fix. Um, like I said, I developed this a long time ago, and so there's a lot of code I gotta fix. Uh, so anyway, and so you can always fix it too by just reloading the page. But anyway, we'll go fiddle around on some other pages. So this is one of the, uh, whatever they are. I don't even know what these things are called again. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The page I put up that has, you know, you can just click on anybody's video, recent videos listed. So we click on uh, Karina's video. It'll go to Karina's video page. And so this is like the standard looking video page. And Why? Why on earth would you care about that? And, uh, you know, because I have this loaded as a Firefox extension, you'll see this little arrow here, and it, because it automatically loads it into the page. But if I wanted to load it into the page and I didn't have Firefox, all I have to do is hit that bookmark, and it'll pop it right into the page. So all you do is hit the bookmark that you create on your taskbar, and it'll, it'll pop open the menu um, just like that. 
and uh, so we'll, we'll go through the this like I said this background ones it gets kind of interesting on pages like this because you know it kind of gives them a good look that you know they look like nothing without without it and you can the good news is is you can have this feature turn on automatically so when you go to a page it'll automatically load um, with a specific bookmark and depending on how websites are constructed like on YouTube once you establish which one you would like it to load preload at you can always change it but it, it would load automatically with that background image um, it will work on every page you go to on like you, like every YouTube video would look to have the same background and uh, so that could be a nice feature uh, like I said I'm, I'm only got about five sets on here so far but there'll maybe there'll be a few dozen eventually and so you could start at any one point in the series and um, go through them. Uh, show you like again on another web page how it kind of it does really um, make it look a lot better. Uh, hopefully this page will become there it is. Uh, so <laughs> you gotta wait for it to load a minute. There it is. Take sometimes it'll take a second for the menu to load, and then if I now I can. You know, take this really dull, stupid-looking page, and I could have it automatically look like that. Every, I could have it automatically. You know, if I use it as an extension on Firefox, it could do it automatically without hitting any buttons. And just as a bookmark, you just have to hit the little bookmark button, and it'll automatically set it up with the the choice of backgrounds you've chosen. Um, and so it can, like I said, be done to any page. And every time you go there, they'll always look the same. And you know, I'll add some more features for how you accomplish that. Um, but anyway, the, the, there's a little, another little thing here. But it tells you how many times you visited a page. So I've been to this page six times uh, with the toolbar loaded. Um, and if you, you can, with this tool, you can set scripts. You can actually, this is where you can program it to do it automatically each time you visit the page. But I wouldn't mess with that until I do a video explaining it all to because it's a little bit um, you you'd have to, you have to delete cookies if you screw it up um, you, you won't work again if you make a mistake there the toolbar will just fail every time it loads until you delete the cookie for that page the browser cookie which I won't go into that either but anyway uh, I don't know if there's anything else that has to be demonstrated here um, could try another website let's just try TJ vids just for fun well whatever it's called uh, the uh, free speech vids so I have it so it's pre-configured on this page so as the page loads eventually the toolbar will load and see it just changes the appearance of the whole page unfortunately this page is made up of mostly divs so it only uses two of the different images instead of four or six or ten or twelve and so it can only use, it's only using two of the available images so there's not as much range in terms of appearance but you know some of them work better than others and so as long as I make enough choices you'll find a choice that you like and uh, like that's kind of pleasant uh, you know some of them like I say will work better than others but anyway it's an interesting feature uh, there was something else so yeah so and then like I said I've shown this before but I'll just do it real quick about you know where you can just create a the concentration game of the page and you can just delete the videos you don't like I mean the images and keep the ones that are somewhat appealing you really should have 12 if you don't start with 12 then when I game the page it will add 12 <laughs> I mean the extra six from my website and right now it just has town images or something so they're not very good images um, but eventually see like a bird <laughs> that was one of the added ones because it wasn't 12 images and the cat that was a little lost cat looked just like my cat but it wasn't my cat wasn't the lost cat um, so anyway this is just kind of interesting like I said you can make these images bigger and then you can do the load them all thing and just view all the images and make them larger and such so anyway, like I said, this is just still in the beginning stages of development, so it's going to get a lot more feature rich as I move along. So, but I think it's pretty cool, and uh, I think that'll be all I'll have to say about that. That page is blank. Okay, there. Back to whoa. That's not a really good image there. So we'll close that window. That background doesn't really work. 
Um, so anyway, I think you get the idea. So I'll just reload this page, and uh, there's the menu again. So just remember the there's a link it will always be there for the toolbar, and so any updates I'll post here on this page. And uh, I think that'll be all for now. Yep, that's all for now. So till next time, or thank you very much, or some such other appropriate salutation type thing. Um, yeah, I'm going to hit the button. I'm going to hit the button now. <laughs>